Welcome to 360180. My name is Michael Gelber. I'm the CEO of iWorld of Travel. And today we have with us Franny Skorik, is our team member who works on all things Croatia, who is from Croatia. And he's going to share with us a little bit about what we should know and how we should book. So welcome, Franny, to the 360180. Thank you, Michael. Welcome, everybody from uh, Zagreb, Croatia. I'm pleased to tell you lots of things about my beautiful country. Well, terrific. So listen, really, the first question, Afrani, is going to sound funny, but where is Croatia? Where would you find Croatia on the map? Croatia is a country located in Southeast Europe, bordering Slovenia, Hungary, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro to the Southeast and the Adriatic Sea to the Southwest. There are a few main airports, such as Zagreb, Split and Dubrovnik. Croatia is very centrally located. You can combine it with Slovenia, you're landing into Ljubljana, Venice, Italy, Budapest, Hungary, even Germany or Austria. For a first time person coming out there, what are the things that they would do or see? And what would be the cost per person per night? The typical itinerary for the first time visitors will be arriving into Zagreb and then along the way to the coastline, visiting UNESCO World Heritage Litvica Lakes, 16 lakes connected with waterfalls, visiting Zadar, Plit, Trogir, another world UNESCO heritage site, hoping on to one of the islands, Hvar, knowing for glamorous nightlife, stunning beaches and also lavender fields, Korčula, another beautiful island known for its medieval old town said to be birthplace of famous explorer Marco Polo, National Park Mlet, and uh, of course the Adriatic Pearl Dubrovnik. So I will roughly say between 500 and 700 dollars per person per day. What other countries would you suggest be combined with the Croatia experience? So these countries in the regions, uh, such as Slovenia, capital of Slovenia is just an hour and a half from Zagreb. The second option will be Italy, really easy to assess uh, to Croatia by ferry or by road. Montenegro on the very south, it's also a great, great option to combine with Dubrovnik split in this area. Bosnia and Herzegovina with Sarajevo, the capital, and Mostar, a famous bridge, really easy to reach just between a couple of hours. We have Hungary on the northeast from Croatia, Budapest to Zagreb in three hours, three and a half hours. Austria, the capital Vienna, which is also three and a half hours from Zagreb. Those countries surrounding Croatia are really easy to combine with Croatia. All right. Well, listen, Franny, um, obviously, you know, I love Croatia. <laughs> I've learned a lot of it for the last three years and we do so much out there and I love the people I'm working with you guys. And I think this really gives uh, everybody a great snapshot of really what to uh, what to consider when they're coming out to Croatia, what places they want to see, what the average cost is going to be and how they can couple that with some other destinations. So really appreciate you coming on with us today, Franny. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for 360 Croatia. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Iro. It was a pleasure talking about my country and I'm always here for all your agents and advisors and see you next time. 360 and 180, brought to you by iWorld of Travel. Expect more, do more, know more.